Sarah with MyNaturalBabyBirth.com. Today I was going to talk a little bit about how you can help your newborn baby sleep through the night and get their day and night sleep patterns corrected for the first couple of months. Because what happens is when you're pregnant and you're moving around all day, you're walking, that motion rocks your baby to sleep and so they are naturally more asleep during the daytime hours. And then when you lay down at night, you know that's why they always seem to wake up and kick and bother you and it takes forever for you to fall asleep because you have stopped moving and so they're, the rocking motion stops so they wake up. So when they're born, that is why most often they have their days and nights backwards. And so in order to correct that the most, the quickest and easiest way possible, the number one important thing for you to do is ensure that they do not, that your baby does not sleep during the day as much as you can help it. Now I'm not saying keep your baby awake all day. No, that's absolutely not what you want to do. What I am saying is you don't want them to nap for really long periods of time during the day. You don't want to encourage them to get all the bulk of their sleep during the day because then they're up all night, of course, and so are you. So this is what I do. Every, during the day, every time your baby has a nap, wake them up two hours into after they've napped for two hours. I know, I know. You're never supposed to wake up a sleeping baby. It's like this unwritten rule that we all seem to know. But, but you know what? It, you can wake up your baby. You can wake up your baby. You just don't want to not let them sleep. Does that make sense? If you let them sleep for these long stretches of time during the day, they will not sleep for long stretches at night. Think about it. When you take a long nap during the day, do you go to sleep very good at night? No. Yes, your baby is going to sleep a lot even during the day, but you want to get them used to waking up and sleeping for shorter periods of time during the day. So even though after you wake them up after their nap and they're ready for their next nap within an hour and a half, two hours tops as a newborn, that's okay, that's okay. You just don't want them to sleep more than two to three hours for a nap during the daytime. And then at night, the things you can do, baby, babies go to bed for the night really early. So after dinner time, around like seven o'clock, maybe even 6 p.m., put them to bed for the entire night. Treat it like their bedtime and don't wake them up whatsoever. Encourage them to sleep as long as possible after that. Now when they do wake up, because they inevitably will, because they're hungry, that's totally fine, don't ignore them, feed them, but there's a couple things you can do at night to help them encourage them to stay asleep at night. First, don't turn on the lights. I did this with my first baby. I would turn on the lights to keep myself awake to make sure I didn't fall asleep and fall over on him while I was feeding him in the middle of the night. But that wakes your baby up too. Keep it as dark as possible when you feed them in the middle of the night and do it as gently as possible. You don't want to wake them up from, from changing a diaper, if at all possible. So only change their diaper if they are totally sodden and or they've made a big poopy mess. Then of course change your diaper, but avoid it if you can. And then make sure that they don't fall asleep being rocked or being held because this is how they will want to go to sleep if that's what they normally do. If you put them in their crib or their cradle or wherever they sleep when they're most really drowsy or almost asleep, then they get used to falling asleep right there in their crib or cradle. When you 
rock them to sleep and they get used to that. As soon as you set them down, you know, two minutes later, they'll wake up and realize, oh, I'm not being rocked, I'm not being healed, and then they cry. And you repeat this process over and over and over. My sister-in-law told me once that with her first baby, my niece, she would only sleep for half hour stretches all night for weeks and weeks. And I think it's because that's how she learned how to go to sleep was by being rocked or being held. And I don't want that for you. You've got to get your sleep. And so key things was, let's recap, don't let your baby sleep for more than two hours during their naps. Wake them up after two hours. And then at night, keep it as dark as possible and don't wake them up by changing their diaper or playing with them as much as possible. And then your baby will get back to, well started, on a normal day and night schedule. Now it does take at least a couple weeks for this to get in place. And even then when they're sleeping mostly through the night, they, they'll still wake up three to four times a night. That's normal. But it's better than you getting up six times a night or more for an entire month just waiting for daylight and night time to just naturally help your baby make that adjustment. These are the things you can do. Please do them so you have more rest and more sleep. You can't take care of that baby if you can't sleep. And so, what are some things that you like to do to help your baby sleep? What's worked well for you? Every baby is so different. Every mothering technique is so different. How you sleep together, how you nurture each other is so different. Not one way is perfect, but these are the things that I found work well for me and my kids. So, do you know somebody that could have a little help with with helping their baby sleep, share this video with them. Every mother needs more sleep. Share this with someone you know that could use it. And like this video. Leave me a comment if you have a question and I will talk to you later, okay? Remember you can do hard things. Have a great day, bye.